boys and girls. Today in math, we're going to be reviewing how to tell time. So first off, in order to tell time, we need to have a clock. So here's our clock today. We've used this many times in class, but we're going to review. We have two different hands on my clock here. We have our long blue hand that goes around my clock as our minute hand. And we have our hour hand, which is our short red hand, that also goes around our clock, telling us the hour. And when we want to just figure out what time it is, we want to always look at our hour hand first, and then at our minute hand to decide the hour, and then decide the minute. So for example, this time right here, I'm looking at my hour hand, it's pointing right at the eight. My minute hand is pointing at the 12. I know when I see 12, we say o'clock. So this time is eight o'clock. And so when my minute hand goes around, we've talked about that we count by fives. So it's important that we learn and we remember how to tell time so that we know when to get places somewhere. We know when to wake up, we know when to go to sleep, we know when it's time to eat. So time is something that is so important that we use every single day in our world when you're in first grade and when you're mom and dad's age, when you're older as well. So I have this mystery box over here, and I have some magnetic numbers in. I'm gonna reach in, and I'm gonna pull out a number, number 25. I'm gonna use this as my minute. So up here I have my little digital clock that we're gonna use, as well as our analog clock. And then I'm gonna reach in, and I'm gonna find an hour eight. So our time up here that we just put in is going to be 825. I know it way 8 is going to be our hour and our 25 is going to be our minutes. So I'm going to set my clock up here to 825. So I'm going to keep twirling this around until I get my hour hand on the 8. Because remember we always want to set our hour first. So I'm going to keep twirling it and twirling it and twirling it. Oh, we're getting close. Okay, we've now hit 8 o'clock, but my time is 8.25, so I need to count by fives to get to 25. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Now we see that my hour hand moved in between my 8 and my 9. That's okay. As long as it's in between still, we know that it's in the 8 o'clock hour. And my minute hand is at the 5, which tells me it's 25 minutes. So we made our time up here match our time on our clock. Let's try another time. Oh, we're gonna reach it. Let's see what other time we're gonna make. Two. We're gonna make the two this time for our hour. And then I'm gonna reach in, and I'm gonna pick another time for our minutes. Another number, 20. So my time up here is 2.20. So we need to make this clock match my digital clock. All right, we're gonna turn our minute hand because we always have to set the hour hand first. Okay, we're at two o'clock. Now we need to count by fives for our minutes to figure out what number to stop on for 20 minutes. Here we go, five, 10, 15, 20. We stopped at the four. So my hour hand's between my two and my three, so I always pick the little number and my minute hand is on the four for 20 minutes. Now today we're gonna do something a little bit different that we haven't done before. So our hour is two and our minutes is 20, but what if I asked you the question, what, what hour comes next? What is one more hour than 220? So when I ask you what hour comes next, set my clock for one hour later, let's say you go take a nap for an hour because you're tired from working all day. You would take a nap and I would say, what time would you wake up in one hour from now? What is one hour later than 2.20? Well, I'm not gonna be worried about my minutes. My minutes are gonna stay the same because my question asked about my hour. So I'm gonna have you cover up, and we're gonna cover up the minutes. We're just gonna look at two. I'm gonna think of what is one more than two, because we're just looking at the hour. So what is one hour later than two? Three. Three comes after two. So if I were to ask you, the three o'clock hour would be one hour later than two. And then if I kept this the same, one 
one hour later than 2.20 would be 3.20. So it helps to write it digitally first, and then I'm gonna take it here. Right now it's between my two and my three. I stopped at the four. I need to stop at the four again. I'm gonna take it and move it around once and stop at the four where we were before. So now it says 320, just like my one hour later says here. Let's try a different one. We're gonna erase up here. Let's set a new time and let's try an hour later again. Pick a new number, 30. Let's make that our minute. And I'm gonna move my hand around in here, one. Let's set our analog clock to 1.30. So I'm gonna keep turning until I get my hour hand all the way to my one. Here we go and stop. That's one o'clock, but I need to make it say 1.30. My hours and my minutes. Let's count by five fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. All right, we've set our clock to 1.30, but here's my gonna be my challenge question for you. What is one hour later than 1.30? One hour later, well I know that I'm not asking about minutes, so I'm gonna cover up my minutes. I'm gonna think, what is one more than the number one? Two. One comes after two, so one hour later would be the two o'clock hour. I'm gonna write in the rest of this stays the same. Two. And then I'm gonna keep the 30. So one hour later than 1.30 is 2.30. I'm gonna do it on my analog clock. It's 1.30, I'm gonna go around just once, stop back at that six, now it says 2.30. So that's one hour later. If you have fun clocks like this at home, you can do that. You can also search Analog Clocks Interactive um, online. You'll get to pull up some clocks that you can use your mouse and move those clocks online as well. So you're gonna see that on your paper on the back. They're gonna give you a time, but I don't want you to write what time it is. I want you to write what one hour later is. So using your clocks at home or using the clocks online, you can use that to move one hour later. Remember, you're just looking at the hour side. Don't worry about the minutes. All right, boys and girls, we'll see you later. Nice job, keep up the good work.